Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Wu Hu and today I've got for you this one yen coin from Japan from the year Showa 47 or 1972. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. On the obverse, we see a sprouting bamboo plant in the center. The text above says Nihon Koku, or the state of Japan, and Ichi En, one yen. Simple enough right there. Turn this over to the other side, a big number one inside some two inner circles, along with the date in kanji down below, Showa Yonju Nana Nen, or the 47th year of the reign of Emperor Showa, which was, in fact, 1972 on the Gregorian calendar. Uh, these coins continue to be produced to this day. They began their run in Showa year 30, or 1955. Uh, they were minted at the Dokuritsu Gyozei Hojin Zohei Kyoku in Hiroshima, or the Japan Mint in simple terms. Uh, they are 100% aluminum, weigh exactly one gram. They are 20 millimeters in diameter, 1.2 millimeters thick with a smooth edge, as you can see right there. These are so abundantly common, it's not even funny. Uh, One billion, yes, billion with a B, 274,950,000 of these were minted in 1972 alone, uh, making this one of the most common years, not just of the Showa era, era uh, but pretty much of the entire uh, one yen date run as a whole. So this is not worth very much. Even in exchange value, it's worth less than one cent now, according to the uh, current exchange rates, at least as of time of recording. So you're more likely to get this cheaply, in circulated condition anyway, if you go just directly to Japan and buy something and get it back in change. Uh, the more likely thing, if you can't do that, is finding it in your local coin shop's foreign coin bin, and hopefully you'll be able to get it for, uh, you know, three for a dime, three for a quarter, whatever, whatever the case might be at your local shop. But anyway, it's an interesting way to get into world coin collecting and relatively inexpensive to do so if you happen to find one. Hope that cleared up some information on this coin, and I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary, and I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like CoinMeltPrice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.